Hi, this is a message from me, Nathan Ronan, CFA, to all level three CFA candidates that took their exam this month of February, 2023. Before I uh, begin this message, I just wanted to let you know if you're interested in continuing to receive these updates or to receive any other additional information as we put it, put it out, please press the subscribe button now and the notifications button so that you can be on top of all the developments. Well, as many of you know, many of you probably have taken the Level 3 2023 exam, or some of you may be still taking the exam, okay? Um, and I'm, I can't, I'm not sharing any information about the exam with you because I don't have any, about what the questions were, anything like that, so stop right there. What I do want to mention is that a lot of times people who take the Level 3 exam are very surprised by the questions that are being asked on the exam, the essay format, because they've never done it before. And they were using all kinds of prep providers who were just going over the material in the curriculum, which is fine because you do need to know the material in the curriculum. But when it comes to the essays, they really didn't know how to answer the questions or provide the information the way they, that the graders are probably looking for. And they walk out of the exam feeling uncomfortable. And I'll tell you the truth, when I took the level three exam for the first time in 1996, and I only took it one time, but when I took it in 1996, I walked out of that exam and maybe many of you felt the same way. And I said to myself, well, I could have passed this exam and I could have failed this exam and I wouldn't be surprised because it was very subjective. It was very kind of fluffy, a lot of fluffy type questions. It wasn't like level one, you know, random multiple choice questions right out of the book kind of thing. So, you know, if you took the exam in February, 2023 and you're not feeling good about it and you're thinking that, you know, you might need to take another shot at it in August, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. What I would recommend to you is if you really feel you didn't do well, don't wait for another 10 weeks to get your results. Start now, you know, give yourself a couple of days off and contact me and let's talk about a strategy, a plan so that you can actually pass the exam in August and get a head start on it and spend the right amount of time in the right areas so that you can give the graders what they're looking for come exam day on those essays. Because I believe that most of you can probably conquer the item sets on your own. So I will give you that boost that you're looking for so that you know how to address those different command words and what the graders are looking for and how to actually pass this exam using my online curriculum and my essay mock exams. I'm pretty, one, pretty much one of the only prep providers out there that actually produces a level three exam that is completely made up of essays, 16 essays, and then after going through them, I grade them for you and I provide you with feedback on what you're doing. And there's a very strong correlation between the people who have taken my essay mock exams, submitted them to me for grading and for feedback, and then actually passing the exam. So again, if you don't feel that you might have passed this exam in February, you're still gonna to have to use the same material, same curriculum for August, so get a head start now. Contact me if you'd like at chalkandboard.org. You can check me out on my website, chalkandboard.org. That's C-H-A-L-K-A-N-D-B-O-A-R-D. That's chalkandboard.org. And I'll be happy to reach out, talk with you, whether it's over WhatsApp or the telephone or Zoom or something, and work out a plan with you and a strategy that you can use to pass your exam in August if you feel that February wasn't a goal for you. So I hear you, I sympathize with you, and I wanna work with you so that you're not taking this exam again in 2024. Talk to you later, bye.